guys, so this is a video I've been meaning to make for a while now, and I'm really excited to show you how I organize my wedding images specifically for a uh, pass gallery, but this can be applied to really any sort of um, program you're using to deliver wedding images or any images at all to a client. So this wedding is a great example because my camera started over with counting the images. I'm not sure if, you, if you've noticed this happens sometimes, but um, this image is labeled 001 even though it's, it was halfway through the day. So this is a really good example of two different cameras, me and my second shooters, and file names that are kind of, you know, jumbled up. So if we sort by file name, you can see that it starts with the beginning of the day. Um, so I actually went ahead and this wedding's already been delivered, so I'm just going to walk you guys through everything I do um, to get these in order for the bride so that she can simply click through from the beginning to the end of the day when she's showing her family and friends after she's gotten her images. Because if they're not put in the correct order, um, it's just not going to be a great experience for the bride and groom trying to show everybody their pictures if they're all jumbled up after we've delivered them. So, um, here we go. I'm going to actually narrow this down to my final round of culling, which was not that. It was this one. So those are my sneak peeks right there. Um, and you can see I have 858 photos. So what I did was I selected all of these um, I probably sorted by capture time first and then I selected all of them and dragged them into Lightroom. I imported the images and then what I did was see if I can get to the library tab here. So when they came in um, I actually went ahead and reordered um, the photos because if, when you're on the library tab and after you've created a collection so let me back up for a second I imported them I went to previous import selected all of the photos, and then I created a new collection um, titled Brittany and Greg Wedding. So once we're in this collection, um, you can see that they're all in order now, but when they came in, they were sorted in this order. So what I did was I reordered by simply dragging the photos, and I ordered them in the order that it's gonna be delivered um, to my client in the sense of like folders wise. So the first thing I always have is bridal details. So I dragged all the bridal details. Things were in this order, you can see. So we have ring shots in the middle of people getting ready because this is how a wedding day unfolds, right? And then I went and took some ceremony photos and then I went and did reception details. My second shooter shooting the groomsmen getting ready. Then I'm back in the room shooting the bride getting ready. So everything's all jumbled up and I would never want to deliver it to my client like that just because I'm super organized and I know I would love to see things in a more chronological organized order in one main folder if I was the bride. So um, I really reordered everything just by selecting using the shift key and then dragging. So once everything's in order like this and this is how I'll just walk you through I did bridal details and then I have bride getting ready, groom getting ready, I have ceremony details first and then the ceremony and then that usually ends after the bride's greeted everybody. And then we go on to family formals, bridal party, groomsmen, bridesmaids, a few more bridal party photos. And then we have all of the bride and groom. They didn't do a first look. That's why it's in that order. Then we have reception details, a few cocktail hour details, and then the reception. So if you're a wedding photographer, you know that the day never actually, usually doesn't go in that perfect order and you're bouncing around like crazy so that's why it's so important to reorder so that when we deliver to the client they have a one main folder titled all photos and everything will be in this order for them um, and, and that's just I think is the easiest to browse so what I do to export and make that happen is after I'm done editing bridal details for example I will select all the bridal details using the shift key and then I will go to export and so these are my settings and let's say this says um, Brittany and Greg wedding and then I create a folder titled all, Fo all photos and then I'll say put in subfolder and I'll name that bridal details and then um, I'll be using custom name sequence this is super important this is key right here I will rename it something like 
I usually use my Google SEO keywords, which is another fun tip, but it'll be something like Harbor View Wedding, and then maybe Megan Kelsey Photography um, or Brittany and Greg. And then I will use the sequence, so it'll be start number one. And these are my other settings. I'll press export. So when that's done, I will just show you what that looks like. Let's see. So we have Brittany and Greg, all photos. So after that's finished exporting and I can continue editing, after that's done, I'll go to bridal details and I'll see where it ended. So I had um, 69, it looks like. And so when I go to export the next group of photos, which is bride getting ready. So let's say I go to about here. When I press export this time, I'm going to do start number 70. So if you can see what's happening, this will make it so that when I upload to my past gallery, um, I'll have all the photos and they're all sequenced so that I can sort by file name because this doesn't change. The only thing that's changing is this number. And so they will all be in order for my clients. And so this would be bride getting ready and so on and so forth throughout the entire day. So I can show you guys what that looks like on the um, back end, or the front end, I guess, rather, for the client as soon as my pass opens. So this is something I started doing um, probably about two years ago, and I just think it's so much easier for my brides and grooms to navigate and show their family and friends their photos. So let's find Brittany and Greg. Here they are. and we go to manage now when i uploaded this all i did was go to add photos and then i dragged the entire all photos um folder so i dragged this one right here into pass and pass already created all of these and then i made this one titled all photos and that has all the pictures sorted by file name which you do by right clicking and pressing sort by file name. So then when brides and grooms are trying to show their family and friends, they don't have to click through each folder. And if they're trying to download all of their wedding photos at once, they can go to this all photos folder and download the entire entire folder in order so that this is on their computer or on past gallery. And they can simply click through the day in chronological order. If we didn't do this, it would automatically go to capture time and then they're clicking through, which sometimes I deliver based on capture time if it makes sense to and the day isn't too um, discombobulated. But I think this day kind of was just because I was shooting reception details before the ceremony and then I'm bouncing back to people getting ready. And then the bride and groom are bouncing between, you know, the groom and then they're going back to the bride. And I don't know, I think this is just so much um, more professional looking and more fun for the bride and groom to click through and kind of see the day in an organized chronological order. So I hope that was helpful. And I hope that from now on, when you go to export your wedding images, that this makes it a little bit easier to um, export and then upload to your delivery system. Let me know if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment.